to breaking news. We just got word on the details in a Senate bill on the border and foreign aid. Joining me now, NBC News reporter Julie Jester from Capitol Hill. Julie, uh, give us the top lines of the bill. Well, the top line number is $118 billion. That is how much this bill will cost, and it's $12 billion more than President Biden asked for in the fall. Let's break it down. It's $60 billion to Ukraine, $14 billion to Israel, $2.4 billion specifically for Red Sea operations, given the climate of the past couple of weeks, $10 billion in humanitarian aid for Gaza and Ukraine, $4.8 billion in the Indo-Pacific, and the number we've all been waiting for, $20 billion for the U.S. border. Another interesting part of this bill is the inclusion of the fentanyl eradication and narcotics deterrent. Act, so the Fend Off Fentanyl Act. So the Senate Appropriations Committee has been working diligently all weekend to get to these numbers. The bill clocks in around 370 pages, and we already have reaction from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who said he's going to start getting this process in motion on Monday with the first vote on Wednesday. Now, that Wednesday vote in the Senate will be critical because if it fails to get 60 votes, this bill is essentially dead. But if it does succeed in getting 60 votes, then then we'll get to amendments and a timeline for possible passage. Now, I want to pull a bit from Senator Schumer's statement just to see what they're highlighting, calling it an opportunity for Congress to address the border as Senate must act decisively and senators must, quote, shut out the noise from those who want this agreement to fail for their own political agendas. Now, portions of the bill that the Democratic leader is highlighting include Improving an adjudication system that has been underfunded for decades by hiring more frontline personnel, asylum officers, and creating new processes to provide faster and fair decisions. And so, in addition to Schumer, we're also hearing from Senator Lankford, the Republican from Oklahoma, who's been critical to these negotiations. And he is calling this a once-in-a-generation opportunity to really reform America's immigration system and secure the U.S. border. Portions of the legislation that he's highlighting include funding to build the wall, increased technology at the border, more detention beds, agents deportation flights, ending the abuse of parole, as well as changing asylum laws. And we heard from Senator Kirsten Sinema on TV earlier today really stressing the importance of ending catch and release and saying that reforming the asylum laws in this bill will allow people's cases to be adjudicated faster. It will deter those without legitimate asylum claims from making the dangerous trek to the U.S. border. Order. And for those who do have real asylum claims, they will get processed faster. And so our Capitol Hill team is pouring over the bill as we speak to try to get a sense of these details, particularly the policy changes that have been part of these back and forth negotiations for weeks. We expect to hear more from lawmakers throughout the evening.